So welcome back everybody. It's been a couple of weeks since we did our last video. A lot of you are liking the new videos that we put up and we've just started streaming again and obviously doing live trading as well. But these videos are for educational purposes and a lot of people get a lot of value out of these because their experiences and their paths that my myself and plenty of other traders have had to go through to obviously be profitable in this game. But in this video, I want to touch on three main points. Now, there's loads and loads of different elements, foundations, opinions, whatever it may be on how to be a successful trader. And I actually believe that it's down to the individual's personality, belief systems that were implemented by environments, teachers, schools, and our upbringing, which for us, that's going to be different for every other individual, and also many other foundational problems or traumas or whatever it may be that produces and creates the way that we behave. And that's going to be reflected in the market. There's no doubt about that. The way that you are as a person, you're going to find out about yourself and your traits and your flaws are going to be highlighted when it comes to trading. But the three points, in my opinion, are pivotal and actually the foundations, I believe, in what you need to have a look at, take the time, have data on yourself and, and really have self-reflection before you can then obviously have that self-actualization, which is going to promote you and produce the level of results that you need to make this into a full-time career. As I'm making this video around about two hours ago, I got a nice message from someone who's been in our community and he earned a month's salary in today's trade um, on an NQ futures contract, which obviously I put the trade in this morning. And it was good to see because he is one of those that's really had to find himself. He's been over trading a long time. And it's only the last few months that he's really, really found the, the, the edge and has allowed him. And soon he'll be able to quit his job that he's been in for over 15 years just because he's found trading and found the way that we trade. So anyway, let's get into the main points of this video. And I call it the three P's. Now, I'll put this kind of thread or kind of this article, whatever you want to call it, post in our free school community, which is now paid that you're watching this video. So if you want to get involved, make sure it's all links below. However, I call it the three P's and I'm going to go over them right now. And the first one, the first one that I believe is purpose. Now, I know what you're going to say, all these gurus and self-development and all these types of things. And anybody that speaks about anything on the internet is now classed as or seen as a guru or whatever it may be. When nearly every, well, every one of our, us and you watching this video has a story. You have something to share with the world. It does not mean you're a guru or being arrogant or anything like that. So the first one is purpose. And the reason I say this as, as a middle-aged man with four children and a wife and a former professional footballer for over a decade from when I was a child all the way to when I was 32, you need purpose. And the reason that you need purpose is it's all right having a goal, you know, and I'll use my experience as, as, as an example. My goal was to be a professional footballer, the first. But once I became a professional footballer, there was no purpose except for staying in professional football. I didn't try and go up the leagues. I did for a little bit and I had an interest from this Premier League team and et cetera and things like that, but couldn't find no purpose. It was just me and my ego and, you know, and doing silly things. But if you have a purpose, it goes beyond you. And when it comes to trading, it's the same thing. We initially get into trading because it's for the money and for the lifestyle and the freedom. And we quickly realize that unless we really, really like this and we need to do the homework, then we're not going to get anywhere. But even if you do the homework and you stick to the analysis and all the emotional pain and trying to figure out and the self-development and the self-actualization, which you're going to get through and you're going to need to take the time to get through, you're then going to come to a point where you need purpose. And I suggest to you that you get the purpose from the beginning. Why are you doing this? Take the money away and take the freedom away. Why are you doing this? Is it worth your while? Are you a good fit for this? Are you willing to work on yourself, read, meditate, jog, gym, eat right? Be, be stoic. All these things you must do, and not only in trading, but to become the better, best version of yourself. And I preach about this all the time because I've had to go through this process. And I know if I didn't go through this process, I would be the same me as 10 years ago. Now, if someone from 10 years ago is in your life and you completely change, they don't know you. They may say that they know you, but they don't know you. So people who was in my life from 10, 15 years ago do not know me now. 
They know of me, but they don't know me because I've completely developed a new version of myself. And that's what you need to do. And the only way it starts with purpose. Now, my purpose is not for me. My purpose, is, my purpose is now for my wife and for my four children. And I believe that God is going to reward me for the efforts that I put in. So now it's not about me. When it was about me, it was ego. And that's what you need to do. What is your purpose? Okay. So the second P that I'm going to be speaking about is persistent. Perseverance. You must be persistent. You must persevere, perseverance, persistent. You must keep going and keep going and keep going. Now, there isn't a problem in quitting. And you might say, no, I, you're surely not. You can't quit. But what I mean by this is you may quit and you're entitled to quit. And there is nothing wrong with quitting in the things that are not going to push you forward, in the vehicle that is not going to give you the lifestyle that you want. So if you do want to live in Miami, Dubai, New York, London, and you do want a top car, or maybe you're not interested in cars, maybe you just want to make enough money so you can just go and live in a place for three or four months and take your old family and go first class, well, whatever it may be, maybe you want to pay your house off, whatever it is, you're going to need to be persevering with yourself. You're also then going to think, well, in the vehicle that I'm on at the moment, the vehicle that I'm on at the moment, which means what you're doing, and this is trading, can that get me where I need to get to? And that's where you then have to say to yourself, well, I need to quit the things that are going to hold me back, but I must not quit the one thing that is going to get me there. And in trading, you will have time and time again, you never know when it's going to crop up to you that you want to quit. You're going to want to quit like the rep at the gym, like the last mile in the marathon. You're going to want to quit and winners do not quit. Now, like I've said, it's okay to quit things that are not aligned with your personality, are not aligned with where you want to go to. I've quit many things because they're not aligned with the vision. They're not the vehicle that I need to live the lifestyle that I want. So there's nothing wrong with that. But once you find that, and I'm saying this particularly when it comes to trading, if you really, really want to be a trader, if you're still here and you're watching this video after one year, two years, three years, and you just can't get profitable, don't quit. Keep persevering, be persistent, and you will break through. Because the man who never quits will always win. It's impossible, impossible for a person, an individual, to never quit and not be successful. It's impossible. Because it's universal law, it's how the world works, it's how the universal law works. If you are consistently pushing yourself and being persistent and keep going back to the drawing board and learning from the experiences and developing yourself, you will get there. Now, again, I've done loads of videos on developing yourself. You must get fit. You must be disciplined. You must eat the right foods. You must read. You must be around people who you cannot get around. You must read books that you would have no way of ever getting around these people and you must change your environment. The environment that you are in at the moment is the same environment as 10 years ago and people are doing the same thing and they're not going nowhere and they think 10 grand um, uh, um, every six months is great or uh, five grand. No, you need to be around solid people. And that is a whole new video, another video. So perseverance. Now the third al aligns with that. The third one is patience, people. Now I know, patience, patience. It's easier for me to say that now as a 44 year old when you watch this video, which I will be next week, with experiences and some crazy highs and some crazy lows and top of the world and broke. It's easy for me to say this now that you must be patient because when I was going through those, I couldn't wait a week. I couldn't see my life when I was 40, when I was 20, 25. I couldn't see my life then because I didn't have the patience. And most young people don't have patience. But if you can, that's great. But, and, but if you have any age, you need to have patience. And how you develop patience is another skill. But what I would say is, this is a term that I learned from Andy Fischella, the guy who does 75 hard, absolute savage guy, mentally, physically, etc. But he has a quote, and it says, aggressive patience. Aggressive patience. Patience. And it's a conflict 
because you're aggressive every single day. You need to be aggressive. What needs to be done? How do I do this? This is what I'm going to do. Some days you're going to fall off. Some weeks you're going to fall off. But what needs to be done, you need to be doing. So you need to do the back testing. You need to do the homework. You need to get on the Zoom calls with your mentor. You need to look at the analysis and mark your charts when it comes to trading. And you need to do that every day. But you also, there's the aggressive part, but you also then need to understand that the patience is the key. Time. Everything is about time. Healing, trauma, success is all about time. And trading is, I believe, I've not done loads of things, but I imagine it's one of the hardest careers you could possibly go for in your in your life. Because it's complete opposite to our biological um formula or whatever you want to call it, roadmap, it's completely opposite. And that's why most people fail. And the reason most people fail is purely based on the fact that they have no purpose, they're not persistent enough, and they have no patience. So those are the three areas, I call them the three P's that obviously are going to really allow you to start on this road from on your trading. If you want to book a call with me, if you need any help or anything like that, I've got a free growth call. So just drop a link below. There is a link below and just drop that book on cal.com. Give me a call. We'll schedule something and we can see, obviously, if we can help you. We also have our free, well, not, it's not free no more, it's paid. We also have our um, premium group now over on the school community where people in there is about 129 members at the moment and people are starting to get confident to obviously be talking and I get my daily analysis in there for you to have a look, see how you want to trade and then maybe you want to take it that step further and obviously get on board so book a call if you want any advice it's direct with me it's not a sales team direct with me i'm fully hands-on with our community and i'll see if we can help you we'll see you on the next one